Today's video is gonna get a bit stupid. The crazy thing is, I still need to add six fans to this monstrosity, which was all made possible by Be Quiet and their awesome new Silent Wing Pro 4s sponsoring this video. All of it, the whole thing. Nice gaggle of fans. Ooh, look at those beautiful Silent Wing Pro 4s by Be Quiet. The thought behind today's experiment, which feels like a bit of a grandiose term for what I'm doing here, to be honest, is can we get more performance from an air cooler by stacking a whole bunch of fans onto it? And at what point does it stop benefiting from it? And considering that Be Quiet sent over 14 of their amazing Silent Wing Pro 4 fans, we can take this experiment pretty far today. Uh, now we're gonna start off by just getting a baseline. We're gonna mount this Pure Rock 2 FX onto the i5 12600K with one majestic Silent Wing Pro 4. Let's just ignore the brand of thermal paste we're using. Very nice. One hour later. Okay, so a bit of a problem. I may have slightly lost the LGA 1700 mounting hardware for this Pure Rock 2 cooler, uh, which means we're now gonna have to use an AMD CPU instead. A little bit of a whoopsie. Now again, we just need to ignore the thermal paste brand. There we go, very nice. Be quiet, Silent Wing Pro 4, number one. Look at that bearing. Nice. In terms of RAM, I'm gonna use this very bare and slightly indecent 2666 megahertz kit because it's the lowest profile RAM I have available. With this naked kit, we won't have any clearance issues later on when we very professionally staple on a whole bunch of fans to this cooler. For our control, we have our single Silent Wing Pro 4, and we're gonna run IDA 64 for about 10 minutes, because it's just an air cooler. And then, once we've taken the temperature, we'll start adding fans and build the Fanosaurus Rex. Now at 10 minutes, it's been stable for a while, and we have a T-dye of 72 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature to beat. Now first off, we are going to do a very reasonable upgrade. We're just going to add a single pull fan on the other side of the cooler and see what that does. Ah, there's nothing quite like having a big juicy pile of Be Quiet Silent Wing Pro 4s to work through. Okay, well this is the last time this whole thing's gonna look normal. So at 10 minutes, adding a fan in pull has made about a two to three degree difference, which is not nothing. But now I think it's time to move on from this pathetic two fan setup and get serious. For the next couple of fans that we're gonna be adding, it's not gonna be quite as straightforward as just clipping them to the cooler. Manufacturers don't really make facilities for adding more than two fans to an air cooler because why would they? And the problem is slightly compounded with these Be Quiet Silent Wing Pro 4s, because if you look at the edge of the fan, there isn't a gap between the two mounting points like there is on a lot of other fans, which means we can't just mount it using the one side and then use the other side for zip tying because, well, there's a solid bit of plastic in the way. Again, because why wouldn't there be, right? Now I have a couple of options. The first one, is to use clamps to just clamp the fans to the cooler. Which could work, you know, we've got lots of variability, meaning we can potentially clamp quite a lot of fans to a cooler. But clamps are big and cumbersome and metal and heavy, so it doesn't feel like a very good idea. 
But luckily, I have a second idea. Using an age-old David mounting method that we've not seen on the channel in a while. Dark tape. Now the first fan is gonna mount kinda like that. Uh, but actually, wait a minute. I kinda wanna use a less chonky graphics card just so that I have easier access to fan duct tape. Now I'm gonna see if we can get away with just using duct tape on the sides. Because uh, I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of the whole thing, you know, that's very important. Now, with the first bit of stacking that we're going to be doing, we are running into a bit of a problem with the clip. But again, luckily, the duct tape is going to help us seal up nicely. On the pull side, we are running into a little bit of a clearance issue because of the rear I.O. So it does mean that on this side, initially, we are going to have a bit of a skew match. Hopefully that doesn't impact airflow too much. Like that. Wow, that is already looking really badass. Let's see if it makes a difference. Though. Now at 10 minutes, the temperatures are pretty much identical, which is a bit disappointing, but I guess it means we just need more power. Quick side note, Be Quiet stuff really lives up to their name. It is so quiet. I can only hear the graphics card, actually. <laughs> this is getting pretty wild. Ooh, all this fan girth is starting to make me feel a little insecure. The crazy thing is, we still have six beautiful Be Quiet Silent Wing Pro 4s to add to this monstrosity. But before we get to that, let's see if this has made any difference to the temperatures. That is the same number it was before. It's not getting any better. But I think the problem is, we don't have quite enough Be Quiet Silent Wing Pro 4s. So let's fix that. Nice, that is spinning. So that gives us space for six more fans. Now we just need to download some unspecified software so that we can get the additional six Be Quiet Silent Wing Pro 4s to run at the same speed as the other Be Quiet Silent Wing Pro 4s. <laughs> Now we just need to add the final crown jewel to this amazing Be Quiet Silent Wing Pro 4 <laughs> creation. And it's done. That is about a degree better than it was before. And all it took was adding 12 extra fans. Very worth it. 